Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about advanced parabolas. So I like to think of advanced parabolas as parabolas with a non-origin vertex. And the only reason why they are a little more um, advanced is because it makes finding the focus in the directrix um, a little bit trickier, it requires a little more thought. And you have to really think about what your equation is telling you. So we know that for the vertex form of a quadratic function is y equals 1 over 4p, which is interchangeable with a, times x minus h squared plus k. So here we have h and k, and our vertex is hk. And remember, we always take the opposite of h because that negative is built in. And then with that type of um, parabola, it's an upward or downward facing if p is negative, and your focus is always um, above or below, and your directrix is above or below. Now with the sideways facing parabolas, we have x equals y squared. But what I want to point out is a little different. Um, our vertex, we still call it hk, but this time h is on the outside and k is on the inside. And since k is on the inside, that is the one that is the opposite. So you could still think of it like k is the y value of your vertex, so it's always next to your y. Anything inside parentheses is always made the opposite. So you need to be careful that now it's h, k, and k is the opposite. All right, let's give some of these a try. So sometimes you'll be asked to look at um, a parabola and create an equation. So the important thing for us to do first is to determine which um, vertex form we will use. So this is a vertical parabola. So we are going to use y equals 1 over 4p times x minus h squared plus k. So we need p, h, and k. Well, I see that my vertex is at negative 2, 1. And I can see that my p value is 3 because that's the distance. I'm sorry, let's call that negative 3 because that's the distance um, from my vertex to my focus. It's also the distance um, from my vertex to my directrix. All right, now all we have to do is plug in some points. y equals negative 1 over 12, x plus 2 squared plus 1. And there you have it. All right, let's try another one. Um, for this, we see it's a sideways parabola, so we're going to say y Oops, x equals 1 over 4p y minus k squared plus h. I can see that my vertex is at 1, 2, and that my p value is 2, because that's this distance, 2 units. So let's plug in some points. x equals 1 over 8 times y minus 2 squared plus 1. So remember, k goes on the inside, and it's made the opposite, and h is just right on the outside. Okay, at this point, um, I'm going to ask that you pause the video and try to create an equation for these two parabolas. All right, good job. Um, so the first one, it's a horizontal parabola, so there's our formula. We have our vertex and our p-value. Um, so my k-value is 0, so you notice it's just y squared. And my h-value is negative 1, so it's just minus 1. And um, be careful, your p-value should be negative 2, because this is opening in a negative direction. Um, for my second uh, parabola, I have a vertical parabola. My vertex is at 2, negative 3, and my p-value is 1. So I have 1 over 4p, and then I have x minus 2, the opposite of h, and then plus k. All right, another thing that you'll be asked to do is look at an equation and identify the vertex, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry. So I think the easiest way to do this is to... Um, to graph it out, to definitely draw a sketch, but the first thing you could always tell is the vertex. So I can see that my vertex is at 2, 3. So we can start there.
Okay, and then just looking at my graph, I know that it's a downward facing graph. So I can just draw a sketch, and this will help me determine where everything else is. So in order for me to figure out where my focus and directrix are, I need to know my p-value. So I'm going to say 1 over 4p equals negative 1 over 12, my a-value. So I can see that p is equal to negative 3. That tells me to go start at my vertex and go down 3 to reach my focus, and up 3 to uh, draw my directrix. Now I just need to say what those values are. So my focus is at 2, 0, and the equation for my directrix is at uh, y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Remember, it's a horizontal line, so we make that equation by saying y equals. Um, the last thing we need is our axis of symmetry, which would be a vertical line right through my vertex. So that axis of symmetry is at x equals 2, because that's a vertical line. Now once again, we can see the vertex from the beginning, and then if you draw a sketch of which way your graph is opening, and you find your p-value, you should be able to plot those um, remaining features and then determine what their point or equations are. Let's try another one. Um, so here I can see that it is a sideways or a horizontal parabola because my y is being squared. And I can see that my vertex is at 1, negative 2. Remember, this is h and this is the opposite of k. So I'm going to plot that point. It is opening in a positive direction, so it looks like this. All right, now I need to find my p-value. So 1 over 4, p equals my a-value, which is 1. Let's see. Okay, if I multiply both sides by 4, p, I get 1 equals 4, p. So p must equal 1 fourth. So that tells me I should go 1 fourth to the right. I'm going to do a smaller one, which is somewhere right around here and then one-fourth to the left for my directrix. Okay, now let's decide um, what the coordinates of those are. So my focus, I can see, is at 1.25, negative 2. And my directrix it's a vertical line, so it's x equals 0 0.75. So it's starting at 1, but I move to the left by 1 quarter. Um, now the last thing I need is my axis of symmetry, which I can see is a horizontal line through my vertex. So horizontal lines are y equals, so this one's at y equals negative 2. And that's it. All right, at this point, um, I'd like you to try these two problems. Start with the vertex, um, sketch which direction your graph is opening in, and then find your p-value to find the rest of your um, features. Okay, thank you for giving that a try. Um, for the, my first problem, I can see that my vertex is at 2, 1. Remember, h is on the outside, opposite of k is on the inside. My p-value, or I know this graph opens to the right because it's positive and it's y squared. So I can see if I move my, if I move over one space from my vertex, my focus would be at 3, 1. And if I move to the left one space from my directrix, is at x equals 1. My axis of symmetry is y equals 1. For the second one, I know it's a vertical graph opening downwards. Um, my, I can see that my vertex is at negative 4, 0. Since my p-value is negative 2, I just move down 2 from that point, negative 4, 2, and move up 2, and I have a horizontal line at y equals 2, and my axis of symmetry is a vertical line through my vertex, so x equals negative 4. And that is all for today.